is the unveiling we've all been waiting for, at least my family has. We are now going to unveil up to and including jar number 400 of our collection. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at our first one here. And what do we have? That's a dog's head. Okay. It's a nice little dog's head dog here. Does not have any markings at all. Lightweight porcelain, so it's relatively new. Take a look at what else we got here. Oh, this is heavy. The lid is very heavy. So what is it? It's a bear. The label says bedtime bear. And bedtime bear. Kinda kinda neat. He's heavy, so he's a little bit older. No markings. Sometimes there might be markings around the base. Okay, let's see what is next. So our next one is it says a kitty cat cookie jar. I'm going to see this in the base. So that's a hat goes with this. And this one is says Japan. And I don't see any other markings on it at all. What is next here? A rabbit. Has a little bit of weight to it. It's a little bit heavier, heavier porcelain. Again, this one is marked Japan. So we'll go ahead and scoop those guys off to the side. And let's see what is next here. Ooh, this one's all wrapped up together. What is it? Okay. An unpainted cap. Nothing on the bottom. An unpainted cat with a kitty sitting in his lap. And we'll set you over here for the time being. And what's next? Oh, that's got a little weight to it right there. Let's take a look at the bottom first on this one. Okay. Oh, there's a sticker where we bought it. It says Winking Bear. I don't see any markings on the bottom. My question is, now that Sears is pretty much gone and there's no Zares, no Kmarts, no places like that, where does a person buy new cookie jars at? Do they even make new cookie jars anymore? Or worth a hell of beans? Okay, Winking Bear, sure is. And definitely no markings. All right, so two new bears to add to our bear collection, and there's a head. We'll go ahead and take this one out of the box. Get that box moved out of the way. All right. So, Nineteen eighty-nine Nabisco Blue. Oh, a blue bonnet. The blue bonnet lady. Okay. Remember, 
when we purchased her. That was an advertising piece from Nabisco, and it's marked 1989 Nabisco right on the bottom. Try and get that copyright. 1989 Nabisco. And if I remember correctly, we bought her. This is another Nabisco blue bonnet utensil holder. Same thing. Everything's better with blue bonnet on it. Okay. Now, let's move these guys around over here. So, the utensil holder does not count toward our total our snowman. Alright, what do we got? A bunch of stuff in here. Uh oh, and a lid. We're going to start that again. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Happy camper, it says. Happy camper, on goes lid. So you can see happy camper there. Hopefully this thing stays in. And it's got the original tag on it. Kelly Montana, made in China. Nice. And there's got to be a bottom to this guy. Oof. Snowman and made in China, food safe, hand wash only. There'd be food safe as a cookie jar. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need two more. We've got two in the box there, and that second one is going to be number four hundred. Oh, let's see what we have here. Take a look at this one first. This is number 399. And another snowman cookie jar. No markings on the bottom. But snowman cookie jar nonetheless. Kind of unique. A bust of a snowman. And finally, here is number 400. Ooh, drum roll, please. Number 400 of our collection. And it's a brown, brown basket. A ball, honeycomb ball with no markings. However, I did do research after we had bought this and actually that is the number one as listed in first to last a McCoy book. That is the number one McCoy from the 1930s and it definitely and it's, it says in the book that there is no marking no McCoy marking on here, but the thick rim on the bottom is a sign that it's a real McCoy. The weight says that it's a real McCoy, and there's no artificial cracking. A lot of jars were made are made to be looking old because somehow or another, and they call it crazing, I guess. I, I don't know what that word means. I'll have to look it up. But the little cracks get in under the glaze or in the glaze and into porcelain. Some people will make artificial crazing and uh, to make it look aged. But this one is a real McCoy, the number one cookie jar by McCoy from the 1930s. And that's our number 400 jar. Number 400 right there. So that completes that half of the trip to our local 
thrift store antique store and we got a nice little haul here so in our next video we'll be unveiling number 401 onward and then in future videos we'll be showing you the placement of all of our jars we have a video out showing you the three shelves that we've already filled with our bears our pigs and our cats but uh, we're going to fill up some more shelves and we're going to make one room dedicated solely to just our McCoy collection as well. So, glad to have you with us. Look forward to the next video. Love the new McCoy we just got. It's all good. This is very addictive. If you're a cookie jar collector, you know what I'm talking about. So until next time, happy hunting.